Hey, you're awake. Hi. Um, the doctor said you'd stop talking, and I said, impossible. Jimmy? The guy that's always the life of the party? The 48-year-old who always acts like he's 20? There's no way. Remember, last year when your mom passed away, you told me that you didn't want to bury anybody else that you loved, because each time you did, it took just a little bit more and more out of you. And you said that next time it was your turn, you know, that someone is going to have to bury you. so angry when you said that. And I never heard you talk like that before. And you know what I thought? I thought, well, whose shoulder am I going to cry on when another guy breaks my heart? And whose ear am I going to bend when I get in yet another fight with my mother, right? And. Who am I going to celebrate with when I finally make partner because you promised we'd go to Cabo? You know? And I thought, how, how could he say something like that to me? And why would he want to leave me? This is so unfair, you know, because you're my best friend and I need you. <laughs> you were just trying to tell me how tired you were. And all I could think about was myself. I thought. You had been so through so much in life, and you always stayed so positive, you know. No pun intended, huh? I mean, you outlived all your other friends, so I thought you were immortal or something. But well, you always held on to life. I thought, oh, hell, you'll be okay. <laughs> Oh no. 